want to take a look now at the battle over extending that payroll tax cut. The House is expected today to vote down the Senate's compromise plan that would extend that tax cut for two more months. House Republicans want Senate Democrats to come back and work out a plan to extend it for a full year. Congressional correspondent Nancy Cordes is on Capitol Hill for us this morning. Nancy, good morning. Where do we stand right now? Any developments overnight? Well, yes, Chris, uh, but they weren't positive. House Republicans met for hours, and when they came out of that meeting, they said that they were not going to hold an up or down vote on the Senate package to extend the payroll tax cut for two months. After all, it's possible that many of them didn't want to have to go on record as voting against a tax cut. Instead, today, they'll hold a vote on a weaker measure, which essentially says we don't like that Senate plan very much, and we want Senate Democrats to come back and negotiate, Chris. Uh, but Nancy, a quick question for you is, Erica, what are the chances, though, of, of the Senate actually coming back? Because as you told us yesterday, they left. They left, and Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid is saying they are not coming back. He said that he already negotiated a bipartisan deal with Senate Republicans. It passed overwhelmingly in the Senate this weekend. It extends the payroll tax cut for two months, and he says they'll come back in the new year and work to extend it for the rest of the year. House Republicans say that just creates too much uncertainty for the taxpayer not knowing whether this payroll tax cut is going to expire after two months or not, and so they want a one-year deal. All right, TBS's Nancy Cordes on Capitol Hill for us this morning. Nancy, thank you.